What's going on? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play the Seventh Saga, No Magic Run. And as you can see, I got to level 10 already. Very good. You have a lot of money right there. The items I got from the castle, you get a... Well, you get the key of the earth, obviously. You get the uh, Cytex sword, a topaz, and a power seed. Uh, you get a potion one, I think, also magic herb one, something like that. Uh, yeah, so... We're ready to go to the, uh, Cave of the Earth there. So let's do it. Let's talk to that guy, though, that, uh, promised to give us a map if we, uh, got the Key of Earth. Here he is. Oh, yeah, I gotta open the gate. Right, right. <coughs> His name is Gain, by the way. Gain. G-A-I-N. Gain. <coughs> Alright, let's go. I hope I don't run into too many enemies, cause, well, we can beat them in like one hit now, so. That was a nice flank you saw there, that was beautiful. Yeah. That's a new enemy right there, Demon. Uh, they're similar to the Wyvern, only they can, they can, uh, lower your defense power. Uh, they, they cast a spell that lets them do that, so, yeah, it's not too bad. So here it is, the Cave of the Earth. Very good. Uh, make sure you have a bottle of protection and a bottle of power because you're going to need it. Uh, yeah, so. There. Let's go ahead and open that gate. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, there's some treasures in here, but I don't want to get them quite yet. I want to save them for later. Uh, just because I want to get out of here, too. Progress the video a little bit, you know. Oh, and here's a new enemy, undead. Oh God. Yeah, these enemies are real, pretty powerful. That's why I'm at level 10. They have a, they have a lot of hit points. I think about 80. They can do a good amount of damage if you're not using vile. And another thing they can do is they can revive uh, dead enemies. So yeah, you wanna. Be careful around them, or do what I did and just get to level 10. It took about it took it took a couple hours of grinding to do it, so or an hour, an hour, yeah, something like that. Uh, other enemies in here is just uh, statues and chimeras. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is buy a whole bunch of gems to uh, to. Uh, Make sure my gold, my money is secured, but whatever. Doesn't matter, I think we're gonna be okay against this this guy anyway. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't look sinister at all, does he? <laughs> Let me make safe state just in case. Yes, I am, Wyom. Oh, it's Pison? Oh, that's not cool. Yeah. Alright, whatever. So yeah, we got the first boss of the of the game, Pison. Uh, well, all he does right for uh, this first form, because he has three forms, he just does physical attacks. If you're at level 10, this guy's a breeze, just a bottle of bottle of uh, defense, bottle of power, and defend and attack, and he is a dead man. There you go. Yeah! Awesome. And you get, like, nothing from it. I mean, not compared to Ramos. What, we got, like, 500 experience from Ramos? And we defeated Pison. Jeez, he's not as hard as M. Bison. Haha. <laughs> what I beheld Satan as he fell from heaven! Light, light! Yeah, I th thought you might have liked that clip. <laughs> that movie sucked. Yeah, that was just some weak enemies. Not really much going on there. Okay, weak ass enemies. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my my cat decided to uh, be an a hole and uh, knock over, knock the microphone. 
out of its uh, jack while I was recording, so yeah. That's why you, you probably heard something like, uh, if you heard something like that, then I'm sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, we're out of the Cave of Earth here. Awesome. Yeah, I love this background music. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And there's some new enemies here too, I hope I don't run into them or whatever. And just, you now we get to fight more than one demon. Yay. Die, bitches. By the way, I'm gonna, I am plan, I do plan to cuss quite a bit in this game, so, uh, yeah. Cause this game really does make me quite mad sometimes. Oh, and here's a new enemy I was talking about, Android, ugh. Uh, one, they're e extremely fast, that's why I have Wyom as my main character, cause, yeah. Cause they, they can dodge attacks really, really, uh, easily. They do a lot of damage too, so and they can heal themselves. They have about as much hit points as the uh, as many hit points as the undead, which is about 80. So if you're not using Wyom, I mean, you may want to get to 11 or 12 before uh, coming over here. But yeah, when I drive down the okay, can I not run into a fight every th three goddamn steps? Apparently not. Piece of shit. All I want to do is just. Tell a story. Woo! Okay, here's Ponro. Yeah, uh, I actually uh, downloaded that background music, and uh, when I drive to South Florida, I usually play it because it's just amazing. It's it's the most peaceful like overworld music you could ever hear. So here's Ponro. Let's go to the inn first. Now, yeah, you get to meet a, uh, a apprentices here. So let's see if there's any around. I don't know how much longer I have. I hope I have, like, a good minute or so. I'll, yeah, I'll just take a minute and do this. Three places you can meet uh, apprentices. The uh, bar right here. Is... Okay! Whatever! Wow. Valsu. Asshole. Well, we just got shot down. You can meet someone in the weapon shop here, too. Ooh, Olvin! What? What do you mean our goals are different? We both want to get the runes. How is it any different? But Olven is who I want to join me. So, yeah. And you can meet apprentices in the... Item shop, too. Nah, man. Hey. Hey. Whatever. Alright, cool. I'll back off. I don't fight anybody. Uh... <clears throat> the reason why I made a safe state when I uh, approached Valsu is that if he uh, fights you, he is probably one of the most broken enemies in the game. Uh, but I'll explain that next time on Let's Play the Seventh Saga. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace. Psych! <laughs> I'm just joking. I have a minute left. I just uh, saw all my videos uh, there. So, uh, yeah, I have like a minute left or something like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, let's get the map from that game guy. Oh, we don't want to go there. That's just... That's the House of Healing. Where is Gain's place, anyway? Okay, oh, okay, there you go. Alright, let's go to the tavern. Yeah, the reason why, uh, v Valsu... Well, I mean, uh, when you fight a, when you fight apprentices in this game, they are stronger. Usually, they're a couple levels above you, and okay, and their stats are also uh, okay. Their stats are also uh, a lot higher than they are when they're player when they're playable characters. So yeah. Oh, cool. Makes sense. Alright, yeah, so, yeah. That's why I didn't want to get into a fight with Valsu, because him especially, his, uh... His, his uh, repertoire of attacks is really crazy. Uh, yeah, he's really cheap. Just He's really broken as an opponent, to where you will most certainly die if you fight him. 
Okay, so yeah, I guess Gain's not here, but he went to the House of Healing. But can we get the map from Gain? Find out next time on Let's Play The Seven Saga No Magic Run. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace. And I'm also gonna try and get off in the party. And gain a couple levels. Probably 13 or 14. Later!